I am uh, Ruth Oniango. I'm a professor of food sciences and nutrition at uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology here in Kenya. For the last two years, I've been in the Kenyan parliament. I've worked on this uh, <laughs> continent for most of my professional uh, life and also consult uh, internationally. I've been saddened and gotten frustrated at the levels of, of hunger levels of food insecurity on this continent. Uh, food crisis one after another. We have not always been food insecure. I think what has happened is that we have not kept up with the world events, with the technologies. I don't know of any country which developed without using science and technology. And so I believe that uh, it is incumbent on our governments and on our scientists to bring a technology which can address a small-scale farmer. They need different kinds of information. And I believe that uh, the science has now come up with this technology, biotechnology. I'm not saying it's going to be a magic bullet, but surely it should be one of the major approaches to use. And we already have situations where we know this is working. In South Africa, I'm aware and I've been there, it is working. You know when we're hungry, Karen, we actually import maize from South Africa. So for us to sit here telling ourselves, oh, we don't want biotech foods and we can't bring this to our farmers, it is not right. I'm sure you are aware in Zambia and uh, that uh, part of Africa, Malawi and Zimbabwe, were facing starvation. And some, there was this story of how maize was locked up in the stores while people are dying and saying we will not allow our people to eat uh, that maize because it is genetically modified. Meantime, the people are dying. So we can't just harshly and violently oppose this technology when we know that it can work for our farmers. Because the people who are opposed to these technologies are not the farmers themselves. They are people who can afford food. What I would like is to see a situation where families can feed themselves. I believe we should start now. Yes, yeah, yeah. We can't say we shall start next in a decade or next year. No, no, no. We need to start now. Yes, yeah.